oh my goodness i have missed you so much and by you i mean you and i also mean youtube because man winter has been rough if you know me personally or follow me on the gram you know i have a hate hate not even a love hate a hate hate relationship with winter in west michigan and even though this one has been mild compared to others which is true i'm not gonna front on that um it's still not enjoyable it's still cold so here we are but enough about west michigan winter or lack of or whatever um i'm back with a new thrift haul which i'm super excited about um which has been a minute the last time i did a haul was for fall um and you know if i'm coming at you with a thrift haul that means that i just went shopping with katie aka what kate finds which is also probably why you are here watching this video right now because you watched us go to a consignment shop for these pieces and now here i am showing you how to style them or how i am planning on styling them um so yeah and i'm actually only back with three pieces um which is very different for me i guess you could say um and a lot of that is because we did go to a consignment shop we went to rosa's closet which is local here in grand rapids um, or in East Grand Rapids, I'm sorry. Of Rosa's Closet is in East Grand Rapids. Um, so I have noticed that when we go consigning, I don't bring home as much, but the quality is top notch. Where when we go to Goodwill, like my basket is overflowing with options and I end up bringing like 10 to 12 pieces home. So that's kind of like my journey that I'm seeing with going like to Goodwill or doing consigning. Like that's the biggest difference that I've been seeing is that I'm not shopping as much, but the quality is on 100. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say <laughs> about that right now. Let's just dive into these pieces. All right, let me hit you with piece number one. I think I'm kind of doing these in the order that I found them. I don't know. I usually have some type of like rhyme or reason but maybe not today we'll see um but anyways the first piece that i found when we went consigning slash thrifting is this printed blouse let's like get a little bit cozy with this print let's get a little bit um i guess you could say up close and personal with this print i love a printed blouse and this gave me all of the like i like to say pajama glam <laughs> vibes um i'm sure you've seen that especially over fall and winter like the two-piece sets with like the crazy prints that you could say so yeah this just gave me that whole situation um i love how oversized it is this is actually oh you can see it's banana republic and this is in a size medium um it's longer which i think would be great to pair with like high-waisted denim and stuff like that i'm actually going to be pairing the, this with a pair of leather joggers um which i also purchased over the season so yeah i feel like there was one more thing that i was gonna say about this that i can't think of right now oh no i was gonna say in general sorry i'm so scattered as you can tell it's been a minute since i've been in these youtube streets so get your girl together um but anyways what i was gonna say is each look that i have because we're kind of in between seasons right now i feel like we're in a uh, third winter right now in michigan so that means like we're on the tail end and we're going into spring um so a lot of my pieces and looks that i will be putting together from what i found will have like a transitional situation so even though this look will have leather Faux leather is a big deal for going into spring and summer. So I made sure to try to bring in some type of like future casting of trends in this. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense in the comments. <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling a lot, but I'm like on borrowed time right now. So here we go. But anyways, I'm going to show you how I'm going to style this. <laughs>
now, <laughs> I like caught myself off guard. Um, and now for piece number two, which is probably, ooh, I wanna say maybe my favorite piece out of the three, but if you watch the video with Katie, you know I flipped out about this and Katie did not care. And so here I am to prove her wrong about this, but I have these mom jeans. Oh my goodness. We're calling them the ugly jeans because Katie literally basically told me that they were ugly and that she was not on board, but I am a fan and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've actually been looking for a pair of like baggier jeans and as you know, the 90s are alive and well and thriving and I was a child, I'm a child of the 90s, so here I am living in my glory. Um, these jeans actually have already come in handy. Usually I don't wear anything before I shoot this, like this type of video, but I had a photo shoot um, recently with Hush Puppies. They're like becoming a long-term client of mine. Um, but the whole vibe of the photo shoot was for their vintage sneaker. And so the stylist that brought all of the pieces that I was gonna wear for the shoot, they were all secondhand or thrifted, which is like, oh my gosh, how much more perfect, that couldn't have been more perfect of an opportunity for me to be a part of. Um, but uh, the marketing manager over everything, she had asked me if I could bring some of my favorite thrifted pieces that I had gotten and I was like I have to bring these jeans and then the funny part about it was the stylist had a similar pair of jeans that she had too so that was cool and we actually were both able to wear our jeans our ugly mom jeans um for the shoe with the sneakers and it was like a full like full circle moment. So Katie, if you're watching this, this is a trend. I mean, seriously, this is a spring trend. I think I even showed Katie, um, I was on Zara's website recently and they have a ton of jeans that look like this. Um, oh, I do still have the tag in here. So these jeans ended up being $27. And what I really love about these is they are vintage jeans, but they do not even have a, um, like a tag inside i've been looking for it to see if there was like who they're made by or anything like that and nothing so they're even more of a gem because they feel even more one of a kind uh but yeah i'm really excited to show you how i plan on styling this so i am styling it with a graphic tee but it's like a custom graphic tee for me but of course if you are into the mom jean trend you can do any graphic tee so i just want to put that out there but i have a special one um that i am going to be styling with this so here we go <laughs> final piece oh and before i say i, I say that um the t-shirt the currently carrington t-shirt that i'm super excited about um that i was able to style with the last look is by my friend mandy of blackbird south she does like custom anything um that you'd like and she was so sweet to end up dming me recently and ask if she could make me a custom tee and so i was like i've never had a t-shirt with um my logo on it so that was like really exciting and fun to get in the mail and i definitely plan on wearing that and like heavy rotation especially going into spring and summer but anyways um now on to the third piece that i was able to find at rosa's closet and this piece is definitely um one that katie actually found i didn't find it let me like retract that katie found it and she was like you need to try this on and it looks like it'll be your size and i've been looking for a really cute like pea coat situation like a more luxe coat um, but let me just shut up and show it to you. So what I found here, hold on. Okay. So what I ended up getting is this, it's actually cashmere. I want to say it's like 100% cashmere. Is that what it says? Yes. I'll even show you if you can like see it in here, but 
100% cashmere. There we go. Oh gosh, my face is all in here. Um, and yeah, it's just like, it's a gorgeous vintage jacket. I was hoping these pockets opened, but I don't think they do, but it does have a side pocket. Um, and I'll show you on this side too. Oh my, oh my goodness. My keys. I've been looking for my keys. I was like using my husband's keys this week. I thought I lost them. Obviously, obviously your girl's been out in these streets in this coat and forgot that she put her keys in the coat, but thank goodness that's where they were. Um, but one really, really cool element about this coat is the brand or like the tag. Here, let me see if I can like throw this up here. Houseman's Grand Rapids Kalamazoo. Like that alone, seriously was enough for me to be able to say yes to this jacket um so i'm definitely going to be styling this and showing you kind of how i'm wearing it since it is cashmere i don't think this is one that i will be able to like really really take into spring but the outfit choice that i am putting with it will have a spring vibe um if you have been keeping up with like future casting of trends neon with um earth tones is like a big situation so i'm really excited to put this outfit together it was a last minute decision and of course any opportunity that i have to like throw neon in i will so let's go on to look number three <laughs> And that's it that's all i've got it was a mini a mini thrift consignment haul but it was a good one i will say that <laughs> so definitely let me know in the comments one which look you rocked with um, which piece you loved definitely i love when you share what you've been finding when you're out thrifting especially those like gems that are like classics that'll last you um, for a long time and then definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos i know for sure that katie and i will be thrifting again in the spring um, and we're going to hit up some more local consignment shops so a video like this will be happening um but yeah but let me know in general what else you'd like to see I am planning on housing majority of my um, style videos and travel content strictly for YouTube, which is exciting going into 2020. Um, even though now it's March when you're seeing this video, um, I got a late start on YouTube this year. Again, I'm blaming West Michigan. That's all. I don't care. I'm just going to blame Michigan and its weather on that. Um, but from like looking at last year because i launched this channel in january of 2019 and like what's consistent with it all year long just kind of seeing like the growth that happened it made me really excited about like figuring out what really worked and what you responded to and what you wanted to see more of and those were the two things that stood out the most um so yeah so definitely plan on seeing more style center content here and seeing more travel content because that's really fun and um i guess i'll just this is going to be more chatty than i probably expected um but yeah so as far as travel goes a couple of trips we have coming up um we as in my husband and i are celebrating our 10-year wedding anniversary i know I know, crazy. Um, and we are going to Mexico. This is the first time that we have taken any type of trip like that. We didn't take a honeymoon because we were like 12 when we got married, obviously. Um, so yeah, so it'll be really fun. We're doing like a whole all-inclusive situation. So I'm definitely trying to figure out how I wanna present that content to you, um, whether I wanna break it up as to like packing and travel and like there and like a wrap up or just do one long vlog. So let me know how that like how you'd like that to be um and then also in the summer we will be going back to traverse city for a sunset cruise with um traverse city tourism so that i'm really excited about too so just a couple things that i have coming up i feel like i should probably do a video just about like my vision for this youtube channel and everything um so i'll keep you updated or you'll see that pop up if that's something that i end up deciding to do but yeah for the most part styles style stay in here and so is travel. So 
there we go. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Of course, share everything with me in the comments. It's my favorite, favorite part of this whole situation. And I will be back again soon. Bye. Thank you.